Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. This is going to be a video. Try to make it a quick one for the hometown crowd. As we know, we already took public testimony on House Bill 1240 as well as House Bill 1143 just this past week. And therefore, this now moves on to executive session. And it has a lot of you worried because, as we know, there is an emergency enactment clause in House Bill 1240. Are we on the precipice of something terrible? So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of work through the legislative process together and kind of answer a few questions. So today, let's spend a couple minutes and talk about how close are we to really having an assault weapon ban in Washington state? Okay, before we get going down the road, we are going down. Proud to announce that this video is being brought to you by Security Gun Club. That's right. Washington's nicest indoor facility is located right here in Woodenville, Washington. Now, I'm not going to brag about the facility. It's still awesome. I'm not going to brag about the people. They're still awesome. I'm not going to brag about the training. It's still awesome. But I am going to brag about the totally awesome deals they got going on right now for both Arrow Precision and Stag Arms. And maybe, just maybe... You've been in the mood to stock up lately. Well, listen, come on by. And if you come by this weekend, stop on by. Hey, yours truly will be there helping you fill out your 4473s and keeping you entertained, trying to answer some of your questions while we wait for your background check to come back. So for more information, visit them at Security Gun Club. That is security with an E, securitygunclub.com. Okay, so the question is, knowing that we have this emergency enactment clause, that is the minute Jay Inslee gets that thing in front of him and he puts his signature on it, we have an effective assault weapon ban. How close are we to having that happen? First of all, are the votes there? They most certainly are. Is the political will there? Yes, it appears to be. Is this a reality? Candidly, I think it's a big reality in Washington state. Do I think it's a legal reality when you frame the case law over the top of that? No, but we're not, that's for other videos, including this one right here, which I encourage all of you to check out as well. Okay. Now we had testimony on March 23rd, both House Bill 1240 as well as House Bill 1143. But again, we're going to be focusing on the assault weapon ban for purposes of this video here. They are scheduled for executive session before the Senate Law and Justice Committee on Tuesday, March 28th at 1030. Now, that is where you see bills go back into committee. Could it die there? Yes, it could. Will it? No, it's not going to die there. It's going to, at some point, come out with a majority party recommending that it pass, a minority party recommending that it not pass, and it's going to be scheduled for a floor vote. Now, here's the deal. This is important. When we check the Senate's calendar for next week, right here, and we'll put the link for it down below, you can see right now there are no floor votes scheduled for next week. However, if you also note in the little uh, legend there, anything in green is subject to change. So theoretically, they could put floor votes in there, but that is not likely, okay? Now, you do need to routinely check that calendar because they will update it as the week gets nearer. They don't give us the full legislative session when you get about, you know, one week in advance, okay? But you need to check that because once we start seeing floor votes scheduled, that's when we're going to likely see House Bill 1240 be moved to the floor. Look for schedules that are going to go into the wee hours of the night, okay? Because that's when every piece of gun legislation has ever been passed in Washington State. So right now, if you're just going to extrapolate on the calendar, the soonest that we can have a floor vote is the week of April 3rd to April 8th. What that also means is that the soonest Governor Inslee could actually have the bill and have the right day to do the big media circus that he's going to want. We're looking at kind of Monday, April 10th, Tuesday, April 11th, Wednesday, April 12th, right in that range. Now, that is the hypothetical I'm using if this legislation moves at legislative light speed. However, we have seen all of these gun bills in the last few years be some of the very last pieces of legislation that get passed. It seems like they want to just push this off, push this off, and know it's the big Donnybrook that they're going to have at the end of the session. And that is the way every other significant piece of gun control legislation has worked in Washington so far. That means we could actually be looking at a date much later than that. Is there still time to stock up? 
In my professional opinion, there is, but that's also going to depend on the opinion of the FFL, and I totally recognize that some of them do not want to take that chance with inventory, and I respect the way they want to run their businesses. There it is, in a nutshell, as soon as we could possibly have an assault weapon ban. Do remember, though, that the minute Jay Inslee signs this thing, it has an emergency enactment clause, at least as the bill sits right now, and it would go into effect immediately. Listen, you may have more questions about House Bill 1240, anything else related to what's left of our Second Amendment rights. You guys should know how to contact Washington Gun Law by now, but if you don't, all of that is in the description box down below. In the meantime, I want all of you to remember that part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here, is to know what the law is in every situation and how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay safe.